Hey guys, I have been tagged in a wonderful movie tag created by two fantastic ladies called Nicole and Rihanna from Nixon Nax and Rihanna Toria. So they tagged me in this video called the movie genre tag where you are supposed to go through all the genres of movies and kind of pick, I wasn't sure if it's the movie that first comes to mind or the movie that you love most out of this genre, which is incredibly difficult. Anyway, they made a list of the genres. I'm going to go through them. Some of them have two choices and you can either pick one that includes both or you can pick two. So let's get started and let's see kind of what first comes to mind because if I try to pick the favorite one, it's gonna take us forever. The first genre is action slash adventure. For action, I think I would say Casino Royale. As for adventure, I would go with Pirates of the Caribbean, the first one. I remember absolutely loving it and encompassed everything you love about adventure movies. You know, there's a treasure hunt, there's pirates, there's a curse, there's a romance. Uh, I don't think it gets old. I absolutely love that movie. We have another division. It's animation slash family. Ooh, oh god. I think the one I always say is my favorite is Fantasia. Maybe it's not the best Disney movie, but it is my favorite. I remember absolutely loving it as a kid because it had many different stories and mythical creatures and of course fantastic music. And for a family movie, I'm gonna go with The Goonies. It's a classic. It doesn't get old as well. It's so fun. Again, there's a treasure hunt. I think this is like a, a theme throughout these movies. Absolutely love it. I don't know a person who doesn't love The Goonies and if they don't, they are not human. The next choice is comedy. This was a difficult one. Comedy, I'm gonna go with Tropic Thunder. Still makes me laugh to this day. The performance of all of these actors, Jack Black, Ben Stiller, and Barbara Downey Jr. were amazing together and amazing separately. They have great scenes on their own as well. It's hilarious. A lot of people don't know why I like this movie. I can't explain it. I just think it's comedy gold and it always will be. The next one is drama and drama just encompasses so many movies of so many years. But the one I always remember is The Last Samurai. I don't think it's a movie people talk about enough and I thought it was brilliant. One of Tom Cruise's best performance in my opinion. I think you should give it a watch if you've never seen it. It's absolutely stunning. The next genre is fantasy. I'm gonna try not to go for the Lord of the Rings trilogy, although it is amazing and definitely sticks out in my mind. And I'm gonna go for Howl's Moving Castle because Miyazaki just knows how to build a magical world and Howl's Castle is one of my favorites. I love the idea of a home being built from different parts. I love the whole sort of invention crafty side of it. And it just felt so homey and messy and lovely to be in it, in Howl's world, in the magical world. Overall, it's an amazing movie. One of my favorite of Miyazaki's and Studio Ghibli movies. Ghibli? Ghibli. You know what I mean. The next genre is the musical genre. And this is a tough pick because I love musicals and if you know me or if you see my videos for quite a while you know I mentioned Phantom of the Opera in almost every top five list that there ever has been. I can't help it. I love that movie and I love that story. But just to say something different and to maybe pick something a little bit more modern I'm gonna go with Across the Universe and I know Rihanna picked this one and I was like oh she got it before me but she's entitled because she's British. Across the Universe is a Beatles musical and while musicals with modern music can be very tacky I think they handle the Beatles music to perfection. They got the decades right, they got the feel right, the characters evolved throughout the movie in the same way the Beatles music evolved throughout the decades and with the influence of war and revolution. It's just great. The characters are so wonderful. The romance is so tender. It's a great coming of age story. It's a great New York story and they just cover the Beatles songs like no one ever has. They're majestic. That soundtrack is beautiful. Don't you dare argue with me on this. You will lose. I did not mean to threaten you, but definitely watch this movie. If you don't like musicals, I think it's a great way to get into them. The next genre is romance, and the only one I can think of right now is Before Sunset. I would say the trilogy, but I think I watched Before Sunset before the other ones. I know it's the one, it's the second installment, and maybe I should have seen the first one first, but I love this connection between these two characters. The chemistry was so intense and so beautiful. I love that there's no particular romantic scene, you know, there's no kid at the very end, sorry if that's a spoiler, or anything like that. It's just two normal people meeting after many years, trying to see they still love each other. It's beautiful. I think it's romance, real romance captured in a perfect way. The next choice is crime slash mystery. I'm gonna keep doing this for every single one of them. For crime movies, also so many good ones. I always try to recommend Gone Baby Gone because I don't think a lot of people saw it. It's the story of this private investigator who gets hired to find this little girl and she's been like all over the news the entire city is like watching what's happening in 
trying to find out why or who took her. It's with Casey Affleck and Michelle Monaghan, both amazing in this. There's also Ed Harris and Morgan Freeman. Freaking great movie. If you haven't seen it, again, please watch it. As for mystery, I don't want to leave anything out here. I'm going to pick The Crow because The Crow is just one of the best movies ever made. The next genre is science fiction. And while it might be very easy to pick Star Wars because they are great, I'm going to go with District 9, one of my favorite movies ever. I am dying for them to make the second one. They really should. I don't know if they're going to do it, but we'll see. Anyway, District 9 and the concept of aliens being like the lower class and being sort of the target of racism, great, great great storytelling. The next genre is thrillers. I'm not sure if it's my favorite, but it's definitely up there. That is The Black Swan. I love this movie. Aronofsky is just so great at these dark themes and these thrilling, slightly scary movies. It's a dark movie, but it's a movie I think I could keep watching because there's so much I can take from it. And I love the sort of transformation of this character and how it slowly develops into something very creepy absolutely love it. The next genre is high school movies and I'm gonna have to go with Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's all I've ever wanted to be in life, a Ferris Bueller. I know I'm not gonna be. I know I'm a cam. You know, whenever you think about what would Ferris Bueller do, it might not be the great answer but it's gonna be the fun answer. The next choice is chick flicks and I think chick flicks get a very bad rep in general because especially now they're just not making very good ones but the one that always comes to mind is Something's Gotta Give with Diane Keaton and Jack Nicholson. It's a romance between older people and a player and a very uptight playwright but it's just so smooth and the dialogue is so crisp and wonderful. The chemistry between these two great actors just sort of comes alive right in front of you. It's funny, it's sweet, it's got a great message in my opinion and I can watch it so many times in a row. I love it, I own it. Fantastic. The next one is superheroes. I'm gonna go with two choices because these are the ones that I prefer and it's gonna be the X-Men movie, the very very first one back in 2000, 2001, I don't remember. And the other one is Watchmen. I think it's severely underrated. I think it's a great movie, a great translation from the graphic novel and I love that it's not like so in your face superhero, you know, it deals with like an alternative storytelling of history and how it would have been if superheroes would have been part of the war. A little long, actually too long, but in my opinion worth it. The next genre is martial arts and if you don't go with a Bruce Lee movie, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're doing with your life, it has to be Enter the Dragon. One of the greatest martial arts movie ever made, maybe one of Bruce Lee's best movie ever made, it's just a classic. The next choice is probably my least favorite and that's horror. Again, not because I don't think horror is a good genre, but because I get scared to death and I don't sleep well and I'm 27 years old and this still happens to me. I'm gonna go with The Sixth Sense. That movie I think it's very perfect, a great combination of suspense and thriller and horror. I saw it in theaters when it came out and it just scared me for months. I don't watch it very often because it's still scary but it's definitely a great horror movie and there's still scenes that kind of like oh, just give me goosebumps when I think about it. As for historical movies, I love Cinderella Man. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this movie, but it was an Oscar-nominated movie. It's a story about this uh, sort of a has-been boxer during the Great Depression, and he kind of finds his second wind and becomes a fantastic boxer. And it's such a hopeful, beautiful movie. They have such great integrity throughout what could be probably the roughest time in their lives. I love the chemistry between Russell Crowe and Renee Zellweger. They were beautiful together. Not to mention Paul Giamatti in this. Just fantastic supporting actor. I think it's still on Netflix, so give it a shot if you haven't. You're going to laugh, you're going to cry, you're going to feel so great by the end of it. As for war movies, there's many of them, and I'm not sure if this one really qualifies as a war movie, but I love the General's Daughter. Love might be the wrong word because the movie is just very dark and draining, but I think it's a great glimpse at what the army and the military can be like towards women, towards hiding certain crimes, and it's a great investigation movie, it's a crime movie, it's very infuriating, but I think it's definitely worth a watch. Our last genre is foreign films, and there's so many great ones out there, but the one that I always think about, and the one that makes me very happy is Motorcycle Diaries. I think it's an Argentinian film about Che Guevara before he was the icon that he was, when he was just a young man in med school, and he decided to travel throughout South America with his friend. It shows you a side of South America that I think a lot of people are not aware of, uh, a side that is still very prevalent today, the poverty, the struggles, the political issues that are throughout the entire countries, and sort of the vision of Che Guevara to unite South America, to unite Latin America, 
because we're so similar yet we're so divided in so many ways. It's a wonderful movie. It stars Gael Garcia Bernal and you might know him from Mozart in the Jungle. He's been very prevalent in the last few years and I'm so happy for him. He's such a great actor. I've seen him since Amores Perros all the way back then. He's such a cutie, great actor. If you have Wonderlust, if you want to see a movie about traveling and not so many iconic places, I highly recommend Motorcycle Diaries. So guys, that's the end of the movie genre tag. I tag everybody who wants to do it. If you will do it, send me a message at Twitter or Facebook, Cine Club channel, and I will definitely go and watch it. But guys, that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know that it's always appreciated. If you're new, welcome, and I hope you subscribe to my channel for more weekly videos. And I hope you have a great week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.